Jolie Stangelis. We, today we get to make this beautiful card by Robin Cockburn. Now this card will be lots of fun for us to make and me along and myself along with Crafty Bob will be happy to show you all the ins and outs of this lovely cutaway corner card as Robin calls them. She has several designs. Um, a little bit of information perhaps about Robin. She lives in Australia and I first met, if you can call virtual meeting, virtualization, whatever. <laughs> I met her on the computer, let's say, and um, she makes beautiful parchment patterns. But all of the other cards she's made for Cup, we're so grateful she's there. So let's get started. So first we have all the sheets. Now I printed out this main sheet that kind of shows the general pattern. You, you, normally you don't have to print this out, but I just wanted to show you. I just did this on a quick regular paper, um, just fast printing. Kind of gives you a template for how you want the elements to lay out. Because one thing I really like about the way Robin has done her uh, sheets is that when you look at the main, oh okay, this is the main one. When you look at the main sheet here, um, she doesn't have the flowers or the butterfly or whatever, so you could either put them anywhere on this or uh, maybe not even use those and use other elements of your own. So you have here, this is the car main card front along with some of the decoupage. Here's the other decoupage elements. Um, this is the back of the card with, with the roses. And then we have the two sheets for the envelope. And then we also have the inside. Now I also printed this on, it's not regular paper, it's um, Epson presentation paper. So it gives a nice bright crisp color, but it's also paper so it'll be easy to write on for the inside of the card. So the first thing you need, so the first step is to make the envelope. Uh, here we have, uh, this is the envelope front and the back. Um, first thing I did was I scored just outside this gold line right here. And then I can bring my, uh, excuse me, bring my corners in. You know, this isn't very easy to work around this camera. I have this camera here in front of me and I kind of got to work over it or under it, which is why you see my hairy arms so much in the rest of this video. But anyway, you'll just have to bear with it. So anyway, okay, so there I've got that folded. I must not have scored it very good because I didn't fold it very straight. So once you have this folded, I like to put this on the bottom first, um, run my tape along the edge here, and then the edge here, and I'm going to put my bring my two bring my two sides in. And then I'm going to run my tape along on the actual front or the back portion of the envelope because that way then my uh, my tape will only be on these on these extra flaps here instead of like I did on the other one on the envelope itself which is also another reason why I like to leave a little bit of extra why I like to do, take the edges all the way out to the edge of my paper just because it's easier to deal with instead of having to make sure that your tape is really really thin there so then we just line this up like so oh there goes my light again I think my husband only paid half the electric bill this time oh I forgot to fold it up here so let me do a quick score along there and then we're done and there's the envelope and now on to the card okay now I have all my pieces cut out now because my card because I use the paper for the inserts I want my card to be a little bit more sturdy so I just took some white cardstock um, I made a square for the back that fits the front or excuse me <laughs> the back to fit the back would be a good idea and then what I did was I took the front and I took my cardstock made it the same size and then I just made a tiny little mark on both sides so that I would know uh, where to where to trim the corners off and I just did that so now what we're going to do is we're just going to put the front and the back together and now it's very easy to do once I have my extra card stock applied I'm going to show you now see this has an extra tab again I extended it just for my own benefit I just think it's a little bit easier for me okay now this is the back of your card and this is the front so what I'm going to do let's see let's see here yeah this is the front this way um, what I want to do is I want to make this so it goes on here and it will be covered up by the insert so the first thing I need to do is I need to score this one and this score needs to be pretty exact because you want it you want to make sure 
that you don't have any of the white showing. So you kind of want to, you know, follow. Oops, let me get my, let me get my actual Martha Stewart one here. What I like to do too when I score, I like to put a piece of wax paper over it because when I put a piece of wax paper over it, it just makes the makes the score tool just glide along there. So I'm going to put that in, and I'm just going to come right along here. Whoopsie. There we go. And there's my score. So now I'm just going to fold this in like this. And see how that white is gone when you do that? Okay, now I'm going to move the scoreboard out of the way. Get my trusty Teflon folder there. And I'm going to fold that in. Now since this is the back, what I want to do is I want to put the front of the card on here to match. So I'm going to just put this card on here like this. Okay, so what, I, what, so what I need to do is just run my tape along here real quick. Just my little tab here. Don't worry that your white is showing, um, you know, in the back because we'll be covering that up in a second. Okay. So I'm just going to do this and I'm going to make sure that my front and my back are aligned here. And then I'm just going to press that down. See, now you have your open card. Now for the front, like I said, I have these two pieces of paper. So this one goes in the inside front cover. And this one goes in the inside back cover. So let's just attach those real quickly. Okay, now I have the inside, the insert, and the, in and the inside of the back cover together. And so there you have your main card. Now I have all my decoupage pieces here. I have my things on the back. Now a couple of, couple of points about this. Now on the butterflies, you notice she says to just put it down the body. So just make sure you have, can you tell? Let's see here, my light is kind of shining bright there. See how I have those just right down, down the line, right on the body. We don't want to put any on the wings because we want it to, to stand up like this when we're done. We want the wings to kind of have a little bit of a free-flowing kind of like an actual butterfly's wings, okay? So there's that one. And now also notice here on the main front, she has this little extra piece here and you have the piece to decoupage on here. You could just put it on like that or if you wanted this extra one, extra piece, just a little bit of extra body there, you put up this one and then you can either leave it off or you can put that one on again. Now I like to put that one on um, just to see what my tag is going to look like when I put that on there. And I kind of arrange everything. Now, you can arrange it the way Robin has it. You can see what you look, you know, do you like the, maybe you like the butterfly down here and, and the roses in the center. You know, put some of the roses together in the center or, you know, however you wanted to do it. But I'm going to make it exactly the way Robin has on her. So the first thing we need to do. One thing I think is easier when you start putting the decoupage together is to open your card out. And the reason for that is when you put this piece on, you want to be able to see clearly where the edge of that is. Oopsie, got my wrist stuck. I got all of these peel the, the paper peeled off my thing and they're starting to stick to my hands. I didn't foresee this difficulty. Okay, so you just want to make sure that that's lined up correctly. So make sure you have your point on the top to your point, whoopsie, didn't do that right, point on the bottom. And I'm not going to be able to move it, but you know, most people aren't going to be able to tell. Okay, now when you, okay, then the next piece is this little extra piece that I'm going to put on top here. Hopefully if I can get it on here without sticking my fingers to it permanently. And I'm just going to kind of center that. I'm just going to eyeball that since uh, the actual drawing isn't on there. But I can just kind of eyeball it and it'll look great. Now if you notice when you do the two butterflies, you have a smaller one and a bigger one. Make sure that the bigger one goes on first. And make sure also when you do this that it's kind of centered on there. Kind of where you want it. Think of envision it what it's going to be like when you have the whole card made. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to put on the smaller one right on top of it here. Okay, and I'm going to put the roses just as Robin has in her illustration. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this one on the corner like this. And 
Then we have the extra little layer there to give it a little bit more depth. And we'll put these ones over on this side a little bit further, kind of up here like this. And then I kind of need to put both of these together on here so that I can see, whoopsie, sorry, my hand is shading this. I don't know, I'm having a hard time working with my light here, especially since it's kind of picking up the glare from the, I'm sorry, from the uh, photo paper. Whoopsie, got a piece of my, mm, piece of my, dimensional tape here that doesn't want to stay put. For some reason this particular photo paper is really slippery on the back. A crafty bob paper is on its way. I can't wait till I get that all those wonderful rave reviews we had. I can't wait to get my own my own supply. So okay so I'm gonna put my my little tulip or my little bud over here. I'm gonna place this one right on top of that. And then we have this final rose for a little bit of extra dimension there. And now for the final step, oops, I forgot to put the greeting on there. What did I do with my get well here? Oh, I forgot to take my peel off on that one. Uh-oh. Don't fail me. Don't give me a failing grade on this for this mistake, okay? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put this down on the bottom over here. I'm going to kind of lift up that wing, and then I'm going to kind of, oopsie, got it misplaced again. Uh, that didn't work, so I guess what? Guess what? I'll leave the tag off. Okay, so just kind of bend up the wings a little bit on here. Now, you, can, if you wanted to, you know, before you place this on here, you could score them. But I like a little bit more of an organic feel to it when you just kind of finger fold it. And there you have it. Robin's beautiful card. Now, let's see. You know, we can always add our own little touches. Let's see what a little bit of glitter does. beautiful opal fire cutaway opal uh, robin's opal fire cutaway card it's just beautiful so we have that one as well as one where i've added some glitter to it it's probably hard to see on a camera but anyway and then when you put it in the envelope don't forget to put the the front part of the card so that it doesn't catch on anything so here's my envelope back so i'm just going to put it in like this so that the front is toward the front of the envelope that way it won't catch on anything when you put it in. Oops, that's my bad envelope. Let's try one that works. <laughs> put that in this one. And I promise it really does fit. <laughs> there you go. Robin's beautiful card. We'll see you next week on another episode of Cup TV. Thank you.